enough YouTube. Today's video is going to be all about the different coatings that I have on my guns. I get a ton of questions about what different patterns I have and who did them. Well, I am part owner of a company that does custom Cerakote and they also do custom holsters as well. Uh, the company is called We Plead the Second. Behind me, I have a bunch of my guns that were all coated by my company and we're just going to go through them and take a look at the different patterns and colors that I've chosen. So first up, we have my Glock 20. This is in 10 millimeter. It's a freaking cannon. And if you're ever wondering what's going on behind the refrigerator at your neighbor's house, this is a gun for you. This gun is compensated and the pattern is called Cryptech. It's a well-known design and the grip is also stippled in Cryptech as well. There are some really nice undercuts on the trigger guard. Next we have my Glock 31. This is compensated and it's in 357 SIG. If you ever want to shoot through a dumpster, this is the gun for you. The pattern is in multicam, which is my personal favorite, if you didn't know that already about me. And the grip is in a stipple called carry, because it's really good for carry. Um, it's really grippy, but it's not too rough. And then there are some nice undercuts on the trigger guard here. Next we have the MMP 9mm. This color is called Coyote and it's coated in Elite Cerakote. And by Elite, I don't mean ooh, Elite. It's actually a new formula by Cerakote. It's a lot thinner, smoother, and harder than regular Cerakote. And the grip is stippled in carry, and there's a really nice undercut on the trigger guard. Next we have an older Glock 17. This pattern is called Freedom. It has the stars and the stripes. America! The grip, we also have the stars and the stripes. Double America! And this is called Freedom as well because there's not really that much imagination going on over there at We Played the Second. And then there are some really nice undercuts here in the trigger guard. This is my Glock 34 9mm. It's my competition gun and it's in Cryptech as well. There is one difference on this gun and that's that the color is a lot darker on the top of the slide. And they did that for me so that I'm not distracted when I'm shooting. And that's another good thing about a company that is owned by shooters is that they can make those types of changes for you. Ooh, coyote. Here I have two guns, both in multicam. This one is a lot brighter than this one. And that's because I had this one darkened a little bit to match the suppressor. And that's the other really cool thing about Cerakote is that you can have two of the same patterns in totally different colors. Cerakote isn't only just to make your guns look pretty and cool, although that is a bonus. It also protects it long term from things like sweat, salt water, everyday wear and tear from holster use, uh, nicks, dents, and things like that. If you're wanting to have your gun Cerakoted, I'd love to have your business, but regardless of who you go with, just make sure that they're a certified applicator. That guarantees that the coating will last. I just wanted to point out that all the stippling, trigger guard undercuts, and slide work that you've seen in this video was all done by We Plead the Second. Also, we make custom holsters that can match many of the Cerakote patterns that we have to offer. I hope you found this video informative and that you learned about Cerakote. Also, I hope that it answers your questions about who coats Leah's guns and where you can get your guns coated. It was by We Plead the Second. I'm part owner of the company and they are the ones that do all of my coatings on my guns. If you like this video, 
Please like and subscribe. It lets me know to make more videos for you guys. And I hope that you guys all have a great day. Bye.